Terminology is important. And I'll explain why as we go through this. This is my third time to record this little video. I want you to number 53, 54, and 55 below the video. Tell me the names of the features or the name of the bone as I specify going along. Remember that my answers are in the description below the video. Just click on the link and you can download the sheets that have the answers as I see them. Also remember that on a lab practical, the bones may not be laid out. They may not have clarifications like this. I'm just doing this because it's, it's on the internet. I'm trying to make it, break it down for you, the student. 53 is the muscle insertion for the quadriceps tendon onto the tibia. In a previous video, I said attachment site. That's kind of correct, but it's really an insertion because as this muscle contracts, this muscle group contracts, it actually extends the leg at the knee. If part of this bone yanks out, like as in an avulsion fracture, it's often called Osgood Schlatter's, and is experienced by people that it have rapid growth, especially in a young age, oftentimes. What is the name of this feature where the quadriceps tendon inserts? 54. This is a little process, or, or I always, <laughs> I don't want to say hump, that extends downward on the distal end of the tibia. It actually creates the medial ankle, really, if you, if you think about that. Lastly, I just want you to tell me the name of this long bone on the outside of the leg. By the way, I would call these leg bones, not thigh or foot bones. I do make a distinction there. 